What's up guys, Scott Hood Outdoors here, Scott. I'm about back down here in uh, Central Park. I finally hooked up with my man, Bass Man. He's over here, he's gonna show me some uh, some good spots to do some fishing. Uh, we're starting off with a, a chatterbait, and I think, what do you got on, Don? Got a swim bait, a Kitek uh, 4.8. All right, he's got a Kitek on. Uh, we actually just walked up here, and there was a couple bass just kind of chilling here right when we walked up, but they, they kind of been spooked off, but we're gonna keep on trying out of here. Uh, so stay tuned, hopefully we'll get a fish on camera today, unlike yesterday where it got off at the last minute, but stay tuned. Me and Bassman here are getting uh, surrounded by raccoons. We're trying to get all rigged up, ready to go fishing here. <laughs> kind of hard to go fishing. These guys are kind of blocking our way. And here's a, this is typically a fairly good spot. If you jump down here, if you look down this right-hand shoreline, it is, it screams. Yeah, it's tough to get, right? It screams. Here, jump down here. All right. Kind of, this is, the, 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 it's, it's a little funky to negotiate, but if you can, I'm going to try to stay back here. Whoops. Don't fall in, buddy. But I'll try to stay <sighs> over here. If you come down, hop on that rock, look down this shoreline right here, and it is just, I mean, yeah, so it's, I, yeah. it's four feet deep at least. I'm going to go back up. You okay. Can, Where are you going to go? I'll, I'll just hang. Um, pass down that shoreline. It is, Four, there's four feet of water in front of all those bushes right there. There's one little stick you'll hit about 10 feet short of the feeling. Okay. All right. If you can ride that parallel, that's a good spot. Definitely back that way too. Back to the left. Okay. On both sides of the pond. This is, this is like a little spot if I, if somebody said pick a spot here, just be one of the top three. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hindsight is always 20-20, right? All right, I'm not liking this thing. Go ahead and see if you can catch something. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out. All right. You get you threw your little kite tech back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a new little tie on. Good. All right. It's a problem with only having one ride. Yeah. You know, then you get two or three. Then you get a bass boot. Well, yeah. And then... <laughs> Spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was wondering. So you must have a good. Uh, uh, there's probably a, a whole following of. Go, go on to. I don't know if it's publicly viewable, but there's anglers of NYC. Really? Okay. And you'll get a sense, and then uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that know some stuff about that. So they're good. But they fish, uh, you know, in, in Central Park here? Yeah, they fish Central Park, and here you, know, you, got, you got a few guys, like, I fish Central Park more than anywhere else. Um, there's, you know, four or five guys that fish Central Park frequently. There's four or five guys that are always at Prospect Park, like, fish there a lot. And then there's four or five guys who are at Silver Lake. Those are kind of the three main hubs. I'm probably leaving something out, but that's... You know, like I went to Van Cortland Lake Friday night and yesterday. Okay. And that is, I don't know, five, four or five miles above the top of Central Park. Okay. So from where we stand, as a matter of fact, probably 12, 13 miles north of where we stand right now. Maybe. I could be wrong. Uh, and I know, I know, I, I, I know a lot of people fish that Harlem. I remember when you said it last night, the Harlem Mirror. Harlem Mirror is the Top of Central Park. Right. So that's still a Central Park lake. The Van Cortland Lake is nine miles from where we stand right now. Due north. Um, Harlem Mirror has got some big, huge bass. Really? Huge. There's a guy that I know fishes up there all the time. Uh, he's been night fishing up there. You're allowed to fish in Central Park until 1 a.m. Really? Okay. Between like 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., he's been catching on these like up to like 7 p.m. And I've seen fish. I mean, they're massive. How's it going, guys? How you look? Uh, no, not yet. yet. How about yourself? Yeah, you're fine. Uh, nice. Yeah. Good work. All right. Oh, look at look at it's our buddies. Ricky Raccoon. Ricky Raccoon, you better move out the side. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's got his little tunnel. 
Well, you know, it's funny. Like, I was that scared the shit. Dude, I, it's funny you mentioned that because I was fishing here yesterday and I kept hearing something moving around here. I don't know if it was, and it was coming out of here. It sound out of that. No, it was something that was oh. coming out. It might have been a rat or a squirrel. <laughs> There's a lot of rats here. Position yeah. A, right there. Okay, so and let me show you. You already see it. My, uh, my chatterbait is probably oh. somewhere here. Come back. Oh, God, I thought I saw it. Oh, no, 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 I got it, right here. Yeah, it's right there on the tip, right? Okay, I'm going to play with that. <laughs> that's the one, I, that's what I caught the fish on yesterday. So look, I see there's Don, Mr. Bassman in here in the in in the tree <laughs> collecting lures. I'm actually I'm going to the secret bait store. There you go. <laughs> it's the secret Central Park bait and tackle shop. <laughs> and I'm cleaning up. And you can see the the one I lost yesterday is right there. Yeah, and if this wasn't New York City, I'd, I'd contemplate walking in there. But <laughs> yeah, but Don, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah Don, Don advises otherwise. So. I don't have a water quality test kit, but you know what's uh, sad is it's probably cleaner than we all think it is. Right. All right, guys, I'm back. Just showing uh, Don a little bit about what how I set up with my GoPro and everything, when battery pack and all. But you know, daylight is actually waning pretty quick, so we're gonna try to see if we can get something for you guys on this uh, on this video. If not, no. then we'll be back out here Friday morning. I'm trying all different types of retrieves. So I'm trying all different types of retrieves, different jerking it, just to see, slow rolling it, burning it. Yep. You'd think this time of night they'd be on fire. All right, well, I say we hit a little bit more, a couple spots with the fast moving and then, then we're gonna have to go slow. Yes, yes, yes. Feel it hitting all kinds of stuff. Feel it hitting the rocks. Generally right, in, right, right about like right here. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. Like, so when I was over there, so remember where we came down, uh -huh. and where all those fish were there? Uh -huh. Well, I was a little farther over, and I had I had ran my lure past that spot, so we didn't come down on them. Uh -huh. That might have been oh, the. Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So you cast down to where we walked to. Right. Got it. A nice, it's a nice setup you got here. So you like Fenwick rods, huh? Yeah, Three sometimes. Cast yep. Third cast, fourth cast, been tight. Boom. Sometimes you got to be a little farther out. It depends yeah, on where they're yeah, sitting. Yeah. Could you say what is the depth here about? I would say you're going to three feet of water there. Because yeah, I feel like I'm hitting stuff a little bit, like a rock. I think I hit a rock over there. Oh, that might have been a leaf there. Let me, uh... All right, guys. I got the. Uh, Bass man himself giving a tip on one of his jigs that I actually bought, which is another story we'll have to tell you later. Um, <laughs> so the way I modify the jigs always, I'll take first the weed guard, pinch the weed guard with your fingers right here, go about an eighth inch above the hook itself, cut back towards with one shot. Okay. There's where you want it cut. Second tip is you want to flare 
the weed guard out on both sides and this gives you a wider coverage and makes the jig itself more weedless and then third what I'll do if you want me to trim this now go ahead is I will trim the bottom off but you want to be careful when you trim these silicone uh, skirts as soon as you trim weight off of them they jump up a little bit mm -hmm. so you don't want to go too close to the bottom of the hook shank so I'll stay maybe three-eighths off the bottom and trim it straight and now you have a primped out peanut butter and jelly, butter and jelly jig bass man jig bass man <laughs> jig and now you have a primped out peanut butter and jelly bass man jig ready to slay those big bass awesome thanks a lot man. appreciate it, it. Yes. Uh, not tomorrow morning, it'll be Friday morning. Friday morning. Yeah, I... You know, it's really not that bad of a walk. I, I actually walked from Times Square up here. It was only about, okay. a, about 15, 18 minutes. Yep. You know, the hardest part is just weaving in and out of people. Uh, people. The yeah. first, uh, you know, the first, basically the first like five blocks, and yeah. then it starts thinning out. Yeah. And you won't have that. And if you move down there at 5.30 in the morning on Friday, get up here and it's going to be, this part will be all yours. Yeah. I, in one of my videos, I joke and I say, so much for the city that never sleeps. Yeah, everyone's sound asleep. Oh, there's no one here. I am here by myself at 6 o'clock in the morning. There's not another soul. Wow. And then shortly after, you'll have a jogger. Yeah. Through, but, I mean, just moving around here and quiet and you never know. So here's, okay, so here's the feed. You can hear the water spray. Oh, yeah, definitely. So they feed this. Now, all the ponds in Central Park, what I've read, this is only my own research. Okay. Nobody's told me this, so it could be off. But it's all upstate. All of our drinking water here is from upstate. Right. That's from and, the Hudson Valley area, yes. up that whole area. Up yeah. There. And now, I was told this by a guy that works for the city at the Bass Expo last okay. spring up here in New York. Okay. Um, where I met Gerald Swindle. Okay. Uh, I was there and the guy told me that the water comes in, when it comes into the city, it's 800 feet below ground. These are man-made tunnels, 800 feet wow. deep. And he said that the water pressure is what drives it up into the buildings. Yeah. There's no impellers that are, there's no water ejectors. Yes, that was right here. Yep, there's no water ejectors or anything that are shooting the water up there. And it's unfiltered water. Really? It comes from the base of those lakes. That's... And I guess through the travel through a hundred miles of tunnels it takes all the sediment out of the water and he said there is absolutely no like blue plains water treatment plant wow he goes well now blue plains is for sewage yeah but there's no water treatment and i still find it hard to believe that this guy was like one of the top officials in the city huh was basically promoting new york city and blah 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 but all these ponds is the same drinking water that starts up at the north side of the park and it travels through the park. There's no natural stream coming in out of Harlem. <laughs> right, right. So it's pumped in from somewhere. So this is all drinking water. All right, so let's see here. Yeah. Let's see if... There was like three or four casts. Oh, yeah, I see him. All right, guys, Skyhawk Outdoors here. We're back where it all started, right here in the beginning. And as you can see, we're still surrounded by raccoons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, that's not raccoon, that's uh, bass man. Seven, eight. <laughs> so we got a whole bunch of them here. I've been called raccoon. You probably can't see. Uh, let me see, I'll have to face this direction here. But anyway, we spent about two hours out here. Uh, no luck, but I learned a lot. Um, got a good chance. I uh, got a, a chance to meet a great guy here, Don, uh, aka Bassman. So I'll go ahead and leave a, a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, I've got one more chance, probably Friday morning, to come back out here and see if I can catch something. Uh, he showed me a good a couple few spots to, to try in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. But uh, anyway, like I said, I don't want to ramble on here. Scott Hollywood Outdoors, check out this guy's channel, Bassman. Bassman, and uh, that's a wrap. Thanks, Scott. Hey, hey. hey.
Get away from there. <laughs> <laughs> little thieves.